hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you how i prepared this authentic and salad soup so let's get right into the video i will start by cooking the hard chicken that will still be introducing other proteins to this but first of all i will be seasoning the hard chicken because that's the one that takes much time to cook from other proteins i will be using so i just added chicken seasoning then I'll be adding some salt to this. Traditional and salad soup doesn't require onion or garlic in it. So I'll be topping up the water to the level of the chicken. You can steam your chicken first. But for me, steaming it or not steaming it, it will stay taste good. So after about 20 minutes, I'll introduce other proteins. I will start off by adding the areota to this. Then I will follow it up with some fresh fish, some mackerel fish or Thai tools. I don't know what which one you call it in your place. So I will also be adding some yams to this. I have like a detail of the yam because that one, it doesn't taste good when eating it. But if you use it to prepare and salad, it comes out very well. It makes it thicken up and dry a little bit. So... I top up the water as well to the level of the content, cover and cook for another 20 minutes. Then after 20 minutes, I'll be taking off the yams. I will use my mortar and pestle to pan this very well. You can use a blender, but if you're using a blender, you need to add a little bit of water to blend it into a smooth paste. But yeah, I'll be doing it traditionally. So I'll be using mortar and pestle. I will pan this till it comes out like a very thick paste, then it's ready. Over here, I will be blending some kubeb seed, that's uziza seed, some Cameroon pepper, and some ogiri ogwe. I will make sure to put the ingredients in the description box below, so feel free to check it out. And once I'm done, I will start adding everything inside the pot. It has been cooking for almost 30 minutes now. So I'll be adding the things that I blended, the uziza seed, ogiri okwei, that's the locust beans, and the Cameroon pepper. You can use any pepper of your choice. I will be adding the yam paste now. You can use other things like oat flour or even potato to thicken your ansala soup, which I've showed on my channel. So I'll also be adding some dry fish some crayfish then i will give it a stir gently stir it so you don't break the fish test for salt then i will be adding a little bit of salt just a little bit to my test board dough <laughs> then i will be adding one seasoning cube i will cover it and allow it to cook for 10 minutes after 10 minutes, the yams have fully dissolved. So the next thing I will be adding is some spinach. But if you have otazi leaf, you can add small otazi leaf or uziza leaf. And that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Bye.